Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we are going to simplify rational expressions. So we have this rational expression, it looks like a polynomial divided by a polynomial. And to simplify these, we want to start by trying to factor the numerator and the denominator separately. So um, the numerator is a simple trinomial. So we'll factor that in the usual way. And then the denominator, it is a difference of squares, but I think sometimes when it's in this order, uh, not in decreasing order of the degrees, it's hard for us to notice that it's a difference of squares. So I'm just going to rewrite this expression um, so that the denominator looks like what you are used to seeing it as. So I'll keep the numerator the same, and in the denominator, I'm going to change this 9 minus x squared to x squared minus 9 by pulling a negative out of both of those terms. So that'll give me a positive x squared and then a minus 9. And now this is something that you're used to seeing as a difference of squares. So we'll factor that that way. So in the numerator for that uh, simple trinomial, my product is negative 18 and my sum is positive 3. So the two numbers that we'll need to satisfy these conditions are positive 6 and negative 3. And then in my denominator, we have a difference of squares, as we said before. So now, we'll factor that numerator, and our numbers were positive 6 and negative 3, so we fill it in like this. And in our denominator, remember that we still have that negative, and then the difference of squares is going to make this x minus 3 and x plus 3. So now that we factored, the next thing that we should do is look at the restrictions. So our denominator can never be equal to 0. Uh, that's because we're, we know that we can't divide by 0. So that means that this factor and this factor each cannot be equal to 0. Well, the number, the value of x that will make this equal to 0 is when x is positive 3. So we know that x can't be positive 3, otherwise our denominator will be equal to 0. And in, in the same way here, x can't be negative 3 because then it will make this factor equal to 0. So we can't have that either. Those are our restrictions. So I always think it's best to get our restrictions before we do the canceling of factors so that we don't unintentionally forget a factor or uh, and then therefore a restriction. Okay, so last, we see that we have a common factor, x minus 3, in the numerator and the denominator, so we're going to cancel those out. And what we're left with is x plus 6 in the numerator and x plus 3 in the denominator. This whole thing was negative because I had um, rearranged the order of this equation here. And then our restrictions for the final answer, x can't be equal to positive or negative 3. And now we have our simplified rational expression. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.